All right, everyone. Well, thank you for being here. Um, as you just heard, this call is being recorded. Um, my name is Christy Bethel, and I am with One Legacy Public Education. Um, I am excited to be here with you all tonight. Um, and so we look forward to uh, giving you guys a great informative overview of our 2023 Donate Life uh, Run Walk. So before I get started, we have several uh, team members, um, some of which you guys might not have met um, before, but I am going to ask for the One Legacy staff members to uh, come on camera, introduce yourself, and just share a little bit about what you do with One Legacy and your role at the Run Walk. Um, so one of my roles, guys, is to uh, obviously coordinate the team captain um, kickoff and then to be your liaison um, and really for us to be able to make this a successful event, um, we have to be able to answer all of your questions. So I'm also going to be working with the team this year to secure uh, sponsorships um, from local businesses and partners. So you guys can reach out to me um, and uh, with any questions about sponsorship, but I'm going to turn it over to um, Anna. You're the first person that I see. Um, so Anna, you want to introduce yourself? Hello. Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name's Anna Binder, and I'm Supervisor for Family Support Services, aka uh, Donor Family Aftercare. Um, and we are here, we support our donor family teams. I'm here along with, um, and I'll let Janelle, she wants to wave. <laughs> Janelle is, uh, she's new to our department and she will be supporting uh, donor family teams as well. Hi guys, my name is Tania Yavaneras and I am a media relations specialist at One Legacy. Um, I manage um, with our team, everything that has to do with media and social media. Just happy to be here and uh, look forward to sharing your stories. All right, Sagan, Joel. Hi everyone, I'm Sagan. I know some of you. I am the event production specialist, if you will, uh, for the pub ed department. Um, and I'll be helping guide uh, some of the, or lead some of the production elements for the run walk this year. So I'm excited to have you guys on the call. How you doing? I'm Joe Holly. I'm a uh, community development. Um, I'm Christy's um, counterpart. Christy is my senior though. <laughs> um, I just started um, in December and I'm here to help with whatever you need. Hey everyone, Cesar Guerrero here. I oversee our ambassador program, part of the Family Support Services Department, and I will be overseeing all of the involvement in regards to ambassadors at the Run Walk. Very good, very good. Iva, are you on? I am on. It's just how embarrassing to admit that I can't figure out Zoom enough to figure out how to turn on my camera. So I am not uh not appearing there caesar i saw that look stop that um but uh i i will try my very best to have answers for you on how to register for the event <laughs> very good very good anybody else from public education or from one legacy staff on the call that would like to introduce themselves okay well, with that said, the first thing we'd like to do is to play a little bit of uh, a video of um, one of our previous teams. Um, so I'm gonna turn it over to Tanya and um, give us a few seconds. We are gonna transition to a our YouTube channel. If you don't know that One Legacy has a YouTube channel, please uh, tune in. It's YouTube, uh, One Legacy Inspires is our YouTube channel. And we'll give you a list of all of our uh, social media handles later on in the call. So, Tanya, you want to start the video? Just give me one quick second, guys. Hold on. I'm getting there. Okay, here we go. Um, so, I would like to, oh, hold on a second. First and foremost, you're gonna see on your inbox uh, some information that we're sharing and um, Christy will talk a little bit about that. I'm gonna play you a video right now. 
And I hope that everybody can see it. Here we go. Oh, hold on. I started the video, it is starting to share. <laughs> can everybody see the screen? Okay, here we go. Sorry about that, guys. Thanks, Tanya. <laughs> Today is a day of joy and excitement because we get to get together with friends and family and run and walk in memory of Dylan. My son is a hero because he willingly became an organ donor. To me, that's what a hero does. They give their lives for others. There are people living because of him and I know that that's what he would want. So our team name is Hashtag Hugs for Dylan, and um, Dylan was known for his hugs. So for us, it was really, really meaningful. It's a beautiful event. <laughs> and to see all these people with shirts on that had Dylan's picture on it, and then all these other people with other loved ones' pictures on them, and to, to just be a part of that was very healing. You just realize how much people have lost. And, but at the same time, it's so beautiful because you know how many people are living. Yeah, without the gift of life, I probably would have been deceased by now. What well, saved my life, gave me another chance. I was at the first run walk and I've been to all of them. I keep coming back because it's joyful. It's, it, it means something to me. I walk because I'm contributing to help other people who are in my condition or worse, because there's a lot more people in worse condition than I was that need a transplant a lot sooner. I think people should become organ donors to give somebody another chance at life. I will continue doing it for the rest of my life, as long as I can get there, you know, wheelchair, or whatever I'll go. And so, because of the gift of life, um, I'm living a better life, given a second chance and spend more time with my wife and my family. The run walk means to us a day of remembering, a day of healing. I know it sounds crazy, but it'll be a day of rejoicing and celebrating our loved ones who have gone. We are going to continue to do the run walk until we cannot walk anymore. Okay, uh, did everybody, was everybody able to see the video? Yes. Thank you, Tanya. Yes. So did Tanya- I stop, I stopped sharing, right? Sorry. No, you're still sharing. I'm still sharing? Still sharing. Huh, that is very strange. Oh, there we go, stop share, sorry about that. Very good, very good. All right, well, thank you, Tanya. Um, so as Tanya referenced earlier, um, there should have been an email um, that was sent to all of you guys a few minutes ago with the contents of the material that we're gonna cover tonight. If you didn't get the email or if you're not um, able to bring that email up, no worries. I'm gonna share my screen now and we are gonna walk through the accessing of the website. So let me share my screen. So the first thing that you can do in any search bar, Google, you can just type in there, donate life, run, walk, and it should come up the donate life, run, walk 2023. So we'll just click on that. Which takes us to our home page here, the One Legacy Donate Life Run Walk 2023. Just in case you forgot, um, we are on countdown. So our run walk is in lots of twos, uh, in two months, 12 days, 11 hours, 14 minutes, and 55 seconds. So we are excited that you guys are all here to join us. 
Uh, we do have um, some tools that we um, have uploaded for you. Um, but before we get started with the tools, um, the very first thing to do is going to be to set up. So I am going to stop sharing my screen and I am going to turn it over to Iva Cook, who is going to walk us through the registration process. Iva? Hello. So unfortunately, uh, Christy, you don't have to stop sharing your screen if you don't want to. Um, basically, the system, well, let me do this. Maybe I can share my screen at least two. Or actually, no, Christy, can you go ahead and click sign up? Well, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> so what Christy did is she had already used her uh, username and password from her registration last year, which is what you will want to do if you did register a team last year, what that does is it autofills all of your information and pulls it up forward for you. So you have less you have to fill in. Um, if you are creating a new team again for this year, there are uh, uh, there is a way to pull that team back up from last year as well. Um, I do want to explain that this particular system has two kinds of groups and where our old system we had a team we had a team we had a team this system has what we would consider a team which it considers a group and it has a team fundraiser so in order for the system to pull up last year's team you had to have had a team fundraiser if you just literally had a group you will have to register your team all over again but having said that, once you get to that setup page of create a new team for this year, if you had a team fundraiser, it will give you the option to pull it back from last year. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, the registration process is very simple. Uh, as you can see per Christie's uh, guidance here, and the system will error. <laughs> I forgot to say who I was. So this is important. Anything with the asterisk, of course, we have to complete. So um, I'm just going to put me and then my information is here from last year. So um, warning, you are editing the account information for Christy Bethel, and that's fine. I will continue to do that. I enter in all of my information. Um, the required fields are indicated with the asterisk. So you'll have to fill out your first name, last name, email address, confirm your email. You know, the standard things that we're all used to nowadays, our date of birth, um, our gender, telephone number, uh, street address. And then here is, you know, often the one of the most difficult things. Are you going to do the 5K or are you going to do the 1K? I'm going to be ambitious today and I'm going to say that I'm going to do the 5K. So you can also add another registrant or if you would like to join or create a team. Um, first, you can do that. So for me, I'm going to join or create a team. And you will have another opportunity to add participants uh, towards the end part of the registration process. So don't worry about missing that opportunity. And of course, um, there's the typical waiver um, and information um, that you will need to read through as the registr registrant um, and make sure that you check the box to agree to the waiver and confirm that you are 18 or older. Um, if you're not 18 or older, you can still um, sign up. There will just be a parent permission that's required. So I have signed this. So in the drop down menu, I have referred to this. Uh, most of the teams are going to be in here. Um, but if you are creating a new team, um, you would just go here to create a new team. But for this exercise, I'm just going to select one legacy. Um, and then it's going to list the team captain, uh, the team name, maximum, minimum age. So we can go here to create a new team. And then I would just use the drop down to select whether I'm a general team, a hospital team, a deceased donor family team, or a funeral home team. So let's just, for this um, event, I could create a team and we'll just call this test. And then we'd hit continue. And then it would um, ask, you know, how did you hear about us? Um, so we'll put a website. Um, the t-shirt, you'll select your t-shirt size. You would determine whether or not you want to be timed for the event, enter in your emergency contact information, 
I'll just go through um, and answer the questions. You will be required to put in A if um, that is meeting your uh, description. And then also there are a few different um, options for shirts for our deceased donor families. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that in a few minutes. Um, so then you just hit continue and um, looks like I didn't answer some of the questions. No, I don't need to be timed. Oh, just just you saw a little kind of preview of the t-shirt that is last year's t-shirt we have not yet posted this year's t-shirt but that will be coming so this is the fundraiser page that i referred to earlier um joining the team fundraiser page creating the team um it's important that you start with a goal um, and then you can create everything in here. And there's even a little template here for you um, that says, thank you for visiting our team page. You guys can edit this um, as you see fit. Um, but one of the other most important things I think is remember that this is an opportunity for us to increase awareness with a call to action. So we wanna make sure that people are not only joining your team to celebrate and increase awareness of One Legacy and Donations life-saving mission, but also that they're registering to get their pink donor dot. So, um, you know, that's a, a, all of us on the meeting today, if we can all, um, you know, make sure that we're asking people to, you know, make sure that they're registered donor. Um, uh, at this event as well. Um, so once you go through here, um, you could enter in the donation information, customize it, you can make it on your behalf or on another individual. Um, and you don't have to make a donation. Continue. And so then we're gonna actually switch gears because I am gonna go back to the Run Walk website, which you can see you can quickly just click here and I'm gonna leave the page and go back is I'm also gonna go through here in Team Village. There are lots of resources that we have made available. So if you didn't get the email, it's okay. Um, you can either join the team when you first log in or first go to the One Legacy Donate Life Run Walk webpage, or you can go to the Team Village and you can sign up there. The next step that we're going to um, go into is the Team Captain Resources. So we have several resources that are downloadable. Um, we have this poster here that you can just click on this hyperlink and you would be able to edit this page. And so this is the poster with all of the event information, just a little history about the run walk. And then you can actually type your team name in here. So for me, I always join the One Legacy team. So I would, you know, our team captain um, is Derek. Um, but you guys would be entering in your information and your um, team captain information or your team name. And then you can print this. You can post this to social media. This is a QR code that easily anyone can um, scan that QR code and they'll be taken to the Run Walk website where they would be able to go through, um, create a profile and join your team. Um, so any questions so far? I'm going to look at the chat really quickly just to make sure there's no questions. Okay. What was was that just recently updated because I know last week um it had the old information on it. Yes, very excellent Alan. Thank you for being here. Yes, we um it should be live. Um and we are accepting, you know, we we are accepting um Applicants, we have several teams already signed up. We looked at it a few minutes ago, and I think we have almost 50 teams already signed up. So we're very excited um, that this year we're going to be able to make a bigger impact. Um, so very good. Okay, I am going to start sharing my screen again and go back to the resources. Um, so this is one of the tools that you have um, accessible for you. In a, Am I still sharing my screen? I think you guys can see it. Yes. So in addition to the uh, the poster, we also have the team captain toolkit. So here is the toolkit. And you know, as you guys know, this is our 21st annual um, run walk. And if you guys don't know, the save the date is Saturday, April 29th, 2023. We um, typically host the event the fourth April of every month. Last year, we were a little off because we were not sure what COVID was gonna do, but we are back on our schedule of the fourth Saturday of every month. 
So this is to you guys who are team captains, you know, first and foremost, thank you for joining our 21st annual run walk. Um, our efforts are honoring those who have saved lives as donors to inspire our diverse community of 20 million people to donate life and also to share healing um, that goes on through the transplantation and donation process. So as a team captain, you're in the position to encourage and inspire people uh, really just to spread the word about organ, eye and tissue donation through your personal experiences. So we've gathered some essential tools that are gonna help you guys um, <clears throat> reach your goals. So we're gonna quickly um, you know, kind of go through this packet. Um, timelines are important. Uh, we're gonna go through some tips for fundraising, um, we're going to talk about recruiting team members. We're going to go through social media tips. Um, and then we've already talked about creating your personal and team page, but we're going to get more into that. So um, if you are a donor family, again, all of this information is on the website for the run walk. Um, but uh, for donor families, inquiries about custom t-shirts, garden signs, um, you can contact our team um, at donorfamilyrunwalk at onelegacy.org. If you are coming from a community partner or a hospital or a general team, funeral home team, those inquiries would go to Donate Life Run Walk at One Legacy. Um, again, we're at Azusa Pacific this year. Um, ceremony starts at 830. So your role as a team captain is really to help build excitement within the team and increase um, the members and hopefully attain some fundraising goals. So to get started, the first thing that we need you guys to do, hopefully today before you leave, is register your team if you haven't already done so. Recruit members, um, build friendships, camaraderie, fundraise, communicate and spread the world word, and create memorabilia. That's an option. Um, you are able to um, get very creative. If you have been to one of our run walks in the past, families are very creative. Um, and so we encourage you guys to share uh, your creativity with us and your team. And then of course, one of the most difficult things that you're gonna do is decide how you're gonna participate. Are you gonna run? Are you gonna walk? Are you gonna do a little of both? Either way, we're happy that you guys are gonna be joining us to celebrate life and to celebrate your loved ones. So recruitment, um, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna read through all of these bullets, but I am gonna you know, just ask you guys to be excited, talk about the run walk and your team to everyone that you meet. Your excitement and your um, involvement is contagious. And look at recruiting people in your immediate um, circle. So recruit your friends and your families. Um, maybe you have a place of worship, so you can invite your um, congregation, you can invite your doctor's office. If you're a recipient, you can ask you know, your transplant team to join you. If you um, have neighbors, et cetera, if you are a donor family, you can always reach out to the hospital, maybe one of the nurses that helps you and ask them to join your team because we uh, can't do this event and we can't do what it is that we do every day without your stories and without your involvement. So um, the opportunities are limitless. If you work, you can always um, create a presentation um, at work, at challenge departments. Um, you know, you can get those posters and put them everywhere um, in lunchrooms, in your fitness center, in your elevator, just print out a stack and, you know, just put them in your car and any place you go, tape them up. Um, I know a lot of Starbucks um, will let you have a community board. Some of the uh, restaurants, Panera has a community board. Um, there's another one I'm thinking of a sandwich shop. Um, can't think of the name of it, but there's a sandwich shop. Um, uh, Jersey Mike's, Jersey Mike's, they also have community boards. So if you guys have businesses that you frequent, ask if you can put the poster up. Um, so just really telling your story or the story of your loved one, spread the word about how organ, eye and tissue donation has affected your life. Um, one of the other most important things is to mobilize your team. So ask each person that joins your team to recruit at least three other people. If you start with only three team members and everybody recruits three team members, then you'll very quickly have 39 team members. Um, so fundraising tips, getting started earlier. Um, you know, we tried to have our meeting earlier this year to help you guys uh, make it easier to reach your goals. Um, it's very important that you set goals and make sure that your teammates know um, that you guys have a goal. Uh, lead the way by making your contribution first. 
kickoff um, your team spirit you guys can do a kickoff at, at your house you can do a virtual house party um, and create a theme are some of the feedback that we've gotten from other donor families you can also you know make pocket change um, put all your change in a drawer and watch it multiply and then you can donate that to your team at the end um, or at the run walk you can do a bake sale if you want to get your family involved. You can sell cookies. Um, you can sell, you know, whatever um, you guys want to make. Uh, brownies are my favorite. Um, also, you can have a garage sale. Um, just really, again, we're trying to help you guys create an opportunity to share um, your story, your family's story. And if you're walking in the memory of someone, it's always very important to add the personal photo of your loved one if you're going to do a letter or any sort of outreach. Um, any questions about the toolkit so far? I'm going to check the chat. It looks like we have one question. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, Tina um, Luna Cruz says that she has a team that's registered and she has a handful of early birds who have joined. So very good, thank you, um, Tina, very good. So I think at this time, um, we are gonna turn it over to our family support team and they're gonna talk a little bit about the donor family page. Welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, donor family teams and, you know, Janelle, feel free to jump in if I miss anything. Um, so who is the donor family and as far as a donor family team, it's if you are honoring a deceased donor um, and usually with and um, the special part of our donor family teams is that we are able to um, give the opportunity to personalize our t-shirts to um, to our donor families. So um, it's really important um, for the early bird special and then for any discount for, for these teams for uh, donor families that you um, add a discount code, which we have sent out um, in a couple of our emails uh, earlier this month. If you do need that promo code or the discount code, please feel free to um, reach out to us at donorfamilyrunwalk at onelegacy.org and we'll send that code to you. At this time, it's a early bird registration is $20 uh, for adults and then $3 for children ages 12 and under. Um, and that, should be completed by March 1st. We were able to extend it. I know um, it was, uh, we were able to extend that deadline because originally it was February 19th. After that date, it's um, $27 for adults and $10 for children, 12 and under. And you still need to um, add that promo code because um, if not, it's not gonna give you the discount for a deceased donor family team. Um, what's very important when you create a team and the only way you'll get the price for a donor family team is when you're creating a team is that in the drop down menu that you see there, you have to choose deceased donor family team. If not, you're going to get the uh, prices if you choose general team or hospital team or if there's even um, even as an individual if anybody on your team signs up as an individual, they're going to be charged a different price. So it's important um, to always include that discount code when you're signing up, if any of your um, team members are signing up under your team. Um, of course, we, like I said, we provide a personalized t-shirt. So you would send the picture of your loved one to the donor family run walk at One Legacy and make sure to indicate that you wanted to use that photo for um, the t-shirt. Uh, the deadline for personalized t-shirts is March 17th. So if anybody registers under after March 17th, they will receive a general event t-shirt. Um, and if you remember uh, at the beginning when they showed the run sign up, if some uh, donor families don't want a personalized t-shirt, so you have the option to choose personalized t-shirt or general event t-shirt. And if a, one of your team members or um, 
No, it's actually when you create the team. So this is important for team captains. You'll choose for your team if you're going to get a general event T-shirt or a personalized shirt. Like I said, there's some uh, donor family teams that um, they, their option is the general event T-shirt. Um, please make sure that when you send in that picture that it's a clear digital picture, um, preferably in P as a JPEG. Um, and, you know, it's difficult for us. We can't really use a PDF. We would have to take like a screenshot and then the quality um, is less when we're taking screenshots of, of photos that are sent to us. Um, they don't print well when, when they're blurry. Uh, the other thing that we are supporting is um, Circle of Life garden signs, and those are available. Um, there are 18 by 24 garden signs. And you would also indicate to us in an email to Donor Family Run Walk if you want the picture, if you're buying, per, if you're sponsoring a sign, um, if you want that photo for the sign. And it can be the same picture for the t-shirt and the sign, or you can use different photos, but please indicate for which photo you would like um, us to use if you're, per, if you're sponsoring a sign. And then the message should be 15 words or less. If it's over 15 words, we will reach out to you and have you edited. If, if we can't get in touch with you, then unfortunately we will have to edit it ourselves and we don't wanna do that because that's a special message that you write on the sign. So please try to keep it to 15 words or less. Um, and so if you purchase, if you, sponsor a new sign that will be in the circle of life garden signs. If you did not take home any of the signs, we usually, um, those won't be in the garden. Those are usually, uh, in past years, we've had them on the route um, if, if we've kept them in storage here. Are there any questions? Kat? Yeah, um, I noticed that you extended the uh, time for the promo code. Um, for the early bird discount. For the early yeah. bird, because that was originally the 19th. You've now extended that to March 1st. That's um, correct, yeah. For those of us that are on this meeting, that's awesome. Is there gonna be an email that is sent out to everybody else who maybe isn't on this meeting? Yeah. So that we're... they can have that information yes. as well? Yes, we're going to send that out. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. There were a couple other questions in the chat. Um, there was a question regarding youth sponsorship. So the discount is only for our donor families. Um, and hospitals will not be receiving a discount code if the hospital joins us as a sponsor. There will be, based on the sponsorship level, there will be um, a promo code that is um, given to any of our sponsors um, that would allow uh, complimentary uh, registrations uh, based, again, on the level of sponsorship. Um, for to touch on that, Christy, um, any team, including hospital teams or any general team, if they do have four or more people, that does, do they do get a discount of $7 automatically once your fourth person joins? Just all across the board. Um, for everyone that has general teams or hospital teams, um, please note that. Anytime you're, you're, the first three people on your team will pay the nominal, the $37 fee, but as soon as your fourth person um, joins, um, everyone else will get the $7 refunded and everyone moving forward will get the $30 price point. And so if cost, thank you for that, Sagan. And that's, you know, just to kind of revisit some of the other exercises, um, you know, there may be team members that um, aren't able to cover the fee and you guys can do the bake sale or garage sale so that you kind of have a pocket of money available for people that want to join your team that maybe um, are unable to cover that um, registration fee. So if there aren't any other questions, I'm gonna turn it over um, to Tanya again, who is gonna talk about the social media aspects. Um, and then we'll get to your questions. Um, so if you guys can give us about five more minutes, we'll open it up about 6.45 for questions. Tanya? 
Perfect. Hi, guys. Hi again. So a little bit about how you can uh, raise more funds, get more participation, and um, you know promote your team and what you're doing and your goals is to actually make a social change by engaging with our social media channels. Um, for those of you who have not followed us yet, um, I encourage you guys to follow us on Facebook um, and Instagram and Twitter. Facebook and Instagram, our handle is at Donate Life Wrong Walk, um, and Twitter is uh, Donate Life RW. Um, and we would love for you guys to um, engage in a conversation. I have seen in the past several teams who, you know, personalize their own um, their own flyer that we provide and share it on social media. Share your team, share your story. Um, and we just want to make sure that you guys have that opportunity and you and um, you know you can when you create your page and your team, you can actually promote that and share it on social media. And the power of social media is very important. Um, just a little bit of ideas on what you can do on Facebook. You can keep all your friends up to date on your team's progress, keep a countdown week um, to week until uh, the wrong walk. Um, you can make your group gatherings uh, Facebook official, inv invite all your friends, You know, create an event, um, your own personal event for your uh, team. Uh, so people can join and people can learn about what you're doing. Everyone, uh, you can take a second to thank everyone for their support and um, sponsorship toward your team. Um, so again, on Facebook, you can create your own event. You can do a, a lot of different things. On Instagram, you can actually be a little more visual or you know create videos, post pictures of your team's memorabilia, do latest team events videos some team members and, and why are they walking with you, um, interviewing them um, on what they're walking. Um, you can create a hashtag for your team. Um, our hashtag, um, we encourage you guys to do DLRW team and you know DLRW um, team angel or team whatever you wanna do. Um, and on Twitter, if you wanna put it down a little bit, um, Christy. Okay, for Twitter, uh, again, you can tweet um, your new team members, uh, welcome them, use the hashtags, talk about, tweet about the latest um, uh, ways you have prepared for the wrong walk, whether uh, practice, practicing, you know, you wanna stretch, you wanna do all sorts of different things, or, you know, getting a great sponsorship. And uh, one thing that I would like to highlight with you guys is that, we love to highlight our, our teams every year. So for those of you who are interested in being highlighted on our social media pages, uh, please let me know. Um, you can actually um, email us at the email that you got from our um, um, mailing that we sent, um, which is donatelifewrongwalk at onelegacy.org. Or you can email me directly, tjavaneras at onelegacy.org. I'm actually going to type my email address on the chat. Um, I always love to highlight all the different teams. And um, who have, um, I think I have highlighted some of you who have been, who are here uh, today with us. Anybody wants to share their experience? No? Okay. <laughs> Hi. 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 It's Connie. Hi, Hi, Hi. Connie. How are Hi. you? Fine, thank you. Is is that what um, I'm doing right now? Is the, the picture with me and Poncho, Francisco? No, that picture is for Donate Life Month, but um, I oh. want to highlight all the different teams. So Connie, I'd love to highlight your team. And um, Maria, I know we have talked about your team. I have highlighted all sorts of different teams throughout the years. And I'm just very excited to be able to share um, you know, your teams and what you're doing. I think Melissa is on the call. Melissa, we have talked about your team, right? Yes, Patty, okay. Teddy. Okay, well, thank you very much. That's, that's what I have for social media and I'll give it back to Christy. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna share my email address, okay? 
Thank you, Tanya. So very good. So we have here our checklist. Um, so just to um, hopefully by the end of this call, you guys will have registered your one legacy Donate Life Run Walk team at www.donateliferunwalk.org. Hopefully you have customized your team page with photos and team inspirational um, and personalized messages um, about why you walk. Uh, set a fundraising goal, set your recruitment goal, import your email contacts and begin sending out emails to friends and family. Invite them to join your team, invite them to contribute in your honor. So we are at our timeline, just as a reminder, March 1st is the donor family early registration uh, price of $20 for adults and $3 for 12 and under. That again is going to end on March 1st. Uh, March 1st, the price would increase to $27 for adults, $10 for 10 and for $10 for 12 and under. And if you guys have people that just are not able to sign up, if you have family members like mine, they'll be paying $20 to join the team the day of, um, and there will be registration available the day of. Just come a little early because sometimes the lines get a little long. Um, so uh, March 17th is a very important date for you guys. Personalized deceased donor family shirts are going to be available until the 17th. If you don't get your order in by the 17th of March, your team will be receiving general t-shirts for anything beyond the 17th. Um, and just to kind of give you guys a little bit of backstory on that, it's a very, um, very, very complex process to get all of the, the, the shirts and for all of our donor families customized, which is why we require that turnaround time with our printer so that we can get all of the customizations. So we advocated, hopefully there's a little bit more, um, you know, we have a little over a month to get your donor uh, family shirts personalized. So please be mindful of March 17th if you are a donor family. March 29th is the final deadline for the garden, the circle of life garden signs. March 31st um, is when we have the message and the photo that is due. And then the last day to register and receive a run walk shirt is on April 27th. We will have shirts available on the 29th. However, every year um, for the last couple of years, we've sold out. So if you want to make sure and get your shirt, um, please ask your attendees to register early. Um, so that we can guarantee their shirt. I am going to turn it over to the chat. Um, let me see here. Excuse me. Yes, go ahead. Hi, this is Patricia. I had spoken to Janelle. Um, I registered my team, and at the very end, um, there was an issue with it. Sh I, re I registered seven people, and then it shows like your t shirts. And for some reason, it didn't register a small. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Patricia, I did go ahead and check on that. Um, and on our end, it does show that you selected small. Great. I didn't know if anybody else had that issue, so that's why I brought it up. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you for asking the question, Patricia. Um, any other questions? I just want to show by reactions. You guys can all um, give me a reaction. Give me a, let's see what our choice are. Give me a, a, a high five if you've done this before. How many people have done this before? Okay, just a few. Okay, how many people are brand new? So give me a, if you guys go to your reactions and you click on that, you should be able to uh, give us a, a, th a thumbs up, I guess. Okay, we have both. So we have a good blend of new um, attendees and past attendees. So you guys, welcome to the family, right? That's what we have to say. Um, you know, a, this is a great opportunity for you guys to be surrounded around individuals that have something in common. Um, you know, we we believe in um, the power of hope. We believe in giving back um, to our community, and we want to be able to give hope to those twenty thousand people that are on California's uh, waiting list, waiting for that life saving transplant. So, again, on behalf of One Legacy Public Education, the Donate Life Run Walk, our ambassadors, 
Um, we appreciate all that you guys do. We thank you for your time tonight. Um, and if there aren't any other questions, I, I have a question. Yes, Martha. Um, what is the distribution of the t-shirts this year? Great question. So we have transitioned um, in the past. I know that there was opportunities to pick up shirts early. Um, and when I mean early before the event this year, um, we will send out an email with all of that information. Um, They'll be distributed just like last year on site. So you'll, if you're a general team or hospital team under 25, you'll be picking it up at check-in. If you're a donor family team, you'll pick it up at the donor family um, tent. The tent, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sagan. No problem. Thank you, Martha. That was a great question. Can I ask a question? Maybe if it's already uh, mentioned, I remember previous years, um, students can sign up as volunteers and uh, obtain uh, service hours. Yes. Would there be a flyer for that on the uh, team captain page? It's a great idea. Um, we will be in touch, Sherry. I think that's a great idea. Um, and we are working on getting everything that we need. So we will add that. Um, see if we can get it online, at least in the toolkit. Great idea. Okay. Yeah, thank you. thank you. No, thank you. We need more volunteers. So that's the other piece. If you guys didn't hear this, uh, we need volunteers because we want you guys to enjoy the day and relax. But there are so many high schools, middle schools with kids who need community service hours. So send them our way. We want them to first you know, get the community service hours, but what a great mission to be able to, to give back to such a fantastic organization that all Okay, so we're still recording. I think it's just one <laughs> remind, reminder. Um, I do I do want to touch on the volunteer point. Um, thank you for bringing that up. And Christy, just to piggyback off of what you said, on the website, there currently is a tab. So if you guys do know anyone that wants to volunteer until we get you the flyer, you can direct them to the website. There's a volunteer tab, and there's three different shifts they can choose from. So they can select whichever works best for their schedule. Oh, no. Still here. <laughs> okay, we're still here. I can hear you guys. Sure. What is the minimum age for the students to be able to volunteer without their parents also together? Is that 14 or 15? That's a good question. Um, I would have to get back to you <laughs> okay. on that. Let me look into that and get back to you. What, what do you what did you guys usually have in the past? Um, you know, we started walking a long time ago. My son is finally a freshman in high school. So I think I know for like Red Cross and also for like the food bank, they usually require you to be 14 and different um, organizations have different requirements. Like some require parents to be on site. Mm -hmm. So I think those will be really good to let potential volunteers know because those, if the parents have to also join the event or have to be on site, that will be something else to consider so if you could get that information for the team captains then it will help us with the recruitment absolutely thank you you bring up a great point okay um i have a quick question uh has anybody been uh participating in the wrong work since it since it's since the beginning since uh 2003 2004 when it started marta Okay. Marta Oyoke, Daniel, Daniel, have you participated since the beginning? I have oh, three. This will, this, this will be my third year. This will be your third year, Marta. How about you, yes. Melissa? Ten years. Ten years. How about you, Daniel? He's on mute. Oh, you're on mute, Daniel. You need to. You need to unmute yourself. <laughs> it's okay we say hello to you oh there hey, you go <laughs> uh, i started in two, uh, 2005 with oh the, wow uh, that's wonderful so maybe I we would love to highlight your team too daniel um one thing that, that we missed to mention and i think that it's important is that we if you know of any organization that wants to be a sponsor for the wrong walk um, we would love to hear from you guys and let us know. 
um, in addition to you know what you're doing with your team as a team captain, um, any sponsorship opportunities, especially the hospitals. Hint, hint. If you if your hospital wants to become a sponsor, sponsor, we, please let us know. Okay. Yeah, UCLA Health has always been a sponsor, I believe. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, guys. Of course. And I see three hands raised. Um, does that mean Daniel, Marta, and Melissa that you guys have any questions? Oh, no. Okay, I'll give. The, I'll, excuse I'll me, mine was for the reactions, but I do want to thank all of you from One Legacy for all you do for all of us. So thank you. Thank you, guys. I'll give it back to Christy. Sorry, Christy. No, yes. thank you, Tanya. Thank you, uh, Melissa. Any other questions? Diana, Diana has a question. Oh, perfect, Diana. Sorry. I thank you for having me. I have a question. Um, so this is my first time um, doing this and as a donor family captain, and I've got about maybe six or seven family members. And I was just wondering, what do we expect the day of? Um, I see the timeline and I um, think I've done that. So I just wanted to know how the day of for first timers are. Great question. Um, oh. well, I kind of want to defer uh, because I've been to many different events, but I'm trying to pick anybody want to volunteer. What, yeah. what, what can you expect? Yeah, does a donor family um, team want to my, share my, their experience? Uh, it's Connie. My first time I went, I didn't know what to expect either. So there was five of us and we didn't know what to do or anything. So we uh, just went in the car and left and we did a little bit and then we went and because we were brand new we didn't know anything and the next year that's when a whole bunch of family members came and we all got involved and since then 2000 and, uh, 2010 we've been involved since 2010. Thank you Connie. Thank so you, Connie. Know, we're going to have a booth set up so you'll look for tents and so the tents will be labeled registration family team area hospital team um, and we'll give you guys correspondence as well, um, but we'll be on Azusa Pacific campus. Um, and we are, Sagan, we're still gonna be in the same location as last year, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So it'll take place on the soccer field. Um, there will be like a, a kids activity area. There will be like Christy touched on like exhibitor area with 25, we had 25 booths last year. Hopefully we have the same amount again this year with all different types of vendors from colleges to banks to hospital partners um, and Jamba Juices. Yes. And massages. <laughs> yeah. And then we have like an amazing run of show where we feature some um, amazing performers. Uh, we also obviously have the 5K and 1K race. Um, we have amazing food vendors that come out with food trucks. Uh, what else yeah. am I missing? Uh, an amazing um, don't. Um, how can I forget the Circle of Life Garden area, which is like a beautiful um, memoriam for d past donors. Um, what else am I missing, guys? The Circle of Life uh, Garden that Gavin just pointed out. I just mentioned that. Yeah, okay. she got that. Cool. She got that. <laughs> well, I'm, just, I'm reading the chat, and then Tina also mentioned that it was her first uh, donor family year last year. And she didn't know what to expect, but many of the existing teams are there to help. Um, so you will not feel lost the day of. Of course, One Legacy is there to provide support and help and guidance as well. And and just for logistics, um, you know, people check in at registration. And if you're a donor family team, then they'll um, guide you to the donor family um, team tent or the village. And that's where we have the boxes for the team captains with all the t-shirts and we have the list of each of your team members and the sizes so that if you don't remember what size they are you know we try to give you a list of all your team members and then you would give those t-shirts and so you would just tell your your team members to uh, make sure to go to the donor family village or you try to um you know talk to them and say like this is where we're at so um are you guys providing tables and chairs again this year that's something that we're looking into right now. So I can't confirm or deny at the very moment, <laughs> but within the next week or so, we should have an update for you. We plan to let everyone know well in advance so they can plan properly. I, I would say, um, Diana, as a donor mother myself, um, that donor village is, uh, we're all family. We've all been there. 
So you're welcome to join pretty much any other family. If you feel like you don't know what to do, just ask somebody else. We're all there in it together. Yeah, I, I was just going to say the same thing. It's we, we've all been there as a donor dad. Um, I see many faces I recognize from the road walk on the call. So um, I think this is six or seven or eight years for Team Caitlin. Um, it gets a little nutty. It gets a little hectic. It uh, can be very overwhelming. Um, there's normally lots of um, cheering and tears and laughter. And it's overwhelming and awesome at the same time, if that makes any sense. So um, I would say get there early. Um, and just soak it in uh, more than anything. Um, and just, yeah, just, just, just eat up every minute of it. Cause it's, it's the, the best, the best club that nobody wants to join. And so um, we're, we're, we're all there together um, and we're sharing stories and we're sharing memories and it's just, it's awesome. Thank you, Kat. Thank you, Alan. We appreciate um, the questions, Diana. So thank you for asking the questions as well. Um, you know, we're all here to support you guys um, and we are a, a family. And so, you know, the day of just pull any of us, um, we'll have one legacy staff will be identified. We'll have volunteers. We'll have, um, you know, concierge to help you lead the way. So you will not be lost. Um, and if that's, um, it, I think um, there's another call coming up. If you're an ambassador, if you're not an ambassador, think about joining an ambassador program. That is a program where you go through One Legacy and have some education so that you would be able to uh, go out and help us at some of these events that are in the community. So um, with that said, any last questions before we disconnect? No, I'm good. Okay, very good, very good. Well, thank you guys. Um, we will you. be in touch. And um, all right, guys. Well, here's to the best team. Here's to the uh, the largest team. Um, anybody on this call gonna predict that their team's gonna be the largest team? <laughs> I got <Yeah>. nine. <laughs> I wish. Okay. Hey, that works. We'll do our best. We'll do our best. So here's the teams of 20 or more for all of us on the call. So thank you guys. Um, and no pressure, but you know, everybody on this call, hopefully we'll be able to get 20 people, but even if it's just you that's coming, you know, we, we appreciate all that you're doing to um, spread awareness and increase, um, you know, one legacy's awareness of our life-saving mission. And don't forget to ask people to register to donate too, to register to get their pink donor dot. So thank you. Christy, just before we exit, um, I'm assuming that everyone has already registered, but if someone is having issues registering, who do they connect with here at One Legacy? Great question. So if you guys remember, you can go to the website. And if you go to the website, there's a couple of different email addresses. So depending on your affiliation, if you are a donor um, family or a deceased donor family, you're going to go through our donor family email. And if you are a general team, a hospital team, um, or a funeral home team, you're going to go through the Donate Life Run Walk uh, email. And those are all on our website under that toolkit. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for your time and have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you too. Thank you. See you at the walk. Okay, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>